buckle up, diary, because I have a lot to tell you now. So much has happened, I can't even believe it. My hands are shaking while I'm writing this. Alright, so, it turns out that girl, that student council president in my school, is literally a vampire. And I'm sort of freaked out about that, but a part of me doesn't really care because it's not even the most amazing thing that happened to me. Alright, so... She asked me to help her with a mission. This has to stay between us, Diary. But... <laughs> I got to help track someone. Some of my skills put to use, I suppose. They say she's a dangerous person who held someone hostage and stabbed somebody. It sounds a little extreme, but there's something really intriguing about this person. They're obsessed with someone, just like I've been. The strangest thing is, I think I'm starting to be a bit more obsessed with them than with my muse. So here's the thing, I think this person might be my new muse. I want to write about her for a while instead. She's so very, very interesting. I've been digging up stuff for Sayaka about her, and it's just really intriguing to study all of her background and history and everything she's done so far. I'm very excited. I'm going to base all my writing on her now. They can't keep me from doing that, right? I mean, I have that restraining order to keep me away from my original muse, but... but nobody's trying to keep me away from this girl. And Sayaka wants me to find her, to track her down. It, it should be simple, right? I can help Sayaka, and I can help myself. I'm learning more and more and more and more and more and more and more about this person. I'm fascinated, honestly. Oh, I wonder if I should dye my hair green to look like hers. Maybe that's a bit much. I wonder what kind of shampoo she uses. If I could find out where she is, maybe I could find out that too. <laughs> hmm. Sianka's pretty upset that we lost her, though. I have to say, I'm very peeved about that as well. Mm. But I'm sure we'll find her. My skills at tracking are unparalleled. I wonder a bit about that person that's with her, her accomplice. What sort of person is that? Well, he's not half as interesting as she is, though. She's the actual mastermind of this entire thing, and he's just probably, like, a pawn or something to her? I really don't know. I just want to get inside her head and see how she thinks. This is really quite fascinating. I feel like this person is... sort of my ideal. The kind of person I wish I could be. If I was half as brave as her, I would have... I would have hunted down my muse, my original muse, and made sure that I wasn't separated from him at all costs. I don't think I can ever be quite as dedicated as her. Hmm. I don't know. Some people in the papers and around school had been calling her a yandere. But they just call me a stalker for some reason. I wonder why that is. Then again, Maybe it has to do with the motive behind it? I don't know. That's another thing. This girl, she went to my school, my old school. How weird is that? It's like, I never even noticed her then. And now, she's the star of all my writing. All my written works. Diary, one of these times I should grace your pages with one of my stories. How wonderful would that be? My home situation is just fine right now. My sister and I are well taken care of. 
I can't complain about that, I suppose. I'm a bit intimidated by the people in this town, though. Well, this part of town. It's all one big town somehow, but both sides of it are very, very different. Hmm. Some of them are really scary, and some of them just have very strong personalities that I can't handle. But it's okay. I'm doing just fine. There's something else weird, though, that's been going on. Lately, a lot of the technology in the area, TVs, computers, radios, cell phones, have been malfunctioning severely, glitching, freaking out. A lot of people have been so severely damaged they had to just get factory resets and replacements. It's bizarre. It makes me glad that I write all my works down on actual paper instead of using a computer. Sometimes being old-fashioned pays off, doesn't it? Anyway, I think that's just about all I wanted to say and- Hello? Uh, yes, this is Hannah. Uh, who's speaking? <laughs>